Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to talk about, I was going to go a different direction, but today I'm going to talk about a quote that uh, Rich Mullins had. He said, be good, but you probably won't be, so be God's. Um, and then I'm going to tie that in with, it is the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. Um, if you're focused only on behavior, um, it's all in your will. It's all in your strength. But what happens to someone that's truly experienced the grace, mercy, and love of God, it changes us from the inside out because we, we're, our identity is rooted as a child of God and that we're loved and accepted by Him. Now, all of a sudden, our heart's desire is to behave differently instead of trying to behave in order to receive the love and acceptance of God and others. One is bondage, one's freedom. It is that, that goodness of God. It's the love of God that changes us. Um, and that's what Rich was talking about. He's saying, you know, you, he's, he's going to love you whether you're good or bad. His desire for you is to live a life of freedom. And when we're choosing bad things, it, 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 it's hurting us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went down all these different paths in my life that were dark and satisfying in the moment, but it just damaged me to the, to the point of my heart being so hard that I had nowhere else to go. I was so broken. And then I came to this place of just crying out, God, help me. Um, even in the church, I was doing a lot of good works, but I was in bondage because it was still all about me. Where we become free is in our lives being surrendered. It's about a surrendered life. Um, and in that, we can experience something so different. Um, you know, we're, when we truly are rooted in the fact that we are children of God and He desires the absolute best for us, um, that's when we can truly walk in freedom instead of um, in bondage. It's not about our behavior. It's about us submitting our life to God and and learning from Him and seeking Him because of the goodness that we've experienced from Him. Um, but first it's seeing your own depravity and seeing your own self-centeredness and self-seeking. Uh, pray for that today. Say, God, d reveal to me how self-centered and self-seeking I am. Because um, even, as it says in Isaiah, even our righteous deeds are like filthy rags to God if it's apart from Him. But when we submit our lives to Him and learn from Him, that's when we become free. Freedom from self is where it's at. Understanding our right standing with God is where it's at. And then just living that out. Um, then you're able to love people unconditionally. You're gonna, you'll be able to be invested in other people's lives because you're not so self-focused. There's beauty and freedom and joy and peace and contentment of being a child of God. But he gives us free will to either choose to come back to him, being that, that in the prodigal story, that father running out to us and, and meeting us when we're coming home. I just pray that you come home today and experience the beauty of relationship with God. Um, not religion, but relationship with God. May you experience that today. He loves you and wants the best for you. God bless.